Okay guys, we're gonna take one more shot here um, at the remaining of the jugs. We're gonna shoot the uh, Remington UMC 115 grain jacket at hollow point through the kel uh, Sub 2000. And we're gonna shoot in, we only got three jugs left, so I'm hoping we get a capture on it. But we're gonna do four layers of denim, three jugs, and see if we can capture it. All right, let's take the shot. Okay, kel S2K, 115 grain, Remington UMC jacket at hollow point. Okay, here's the first jug. Pretty good uh, placement there. There's a second. Still moving with quite a bit of energy. There's the exit wound. Okay, here's the third jug. There's the entrance. The uh, bullet kind of took a dive downward and uh, I had to tape up a hole earlier. But we have a round inside. So, uh, I kind of expected, sorry if I'm yelling, I got my ears on. Hold on, let me take these off. Okay. I kind of expected it to um, to not quite penetrate all the way through because with the higher velocities, I'm just going to pour this out nice and easy here. With higher velocities, um, the bullet's going to expand more violently, and so it's going to put the brakes on a little bit harder than it would coming out of a pistol. And so I was hoping that I'd capture it in three. Now, all right, so. Here's what, we've, here's what we've got, and uh, that's cool. We've got some lead fragments. We've lost, we've had jacket core separation, which is what I kind of expected, and then we had some fragmentation on the lead, and then here is the slug. Look at the expansion on that, guys. Now, here's the thing. That went through four layers of denim, so it's gonna open. So, uh, they, these tend to be kind of a reliable opener, which is good, uh, but uh, the amount of energy that's being deposited uh, via the uh, the bullet here on this one is incredibly immense, especially when I think we had like 1,350 feet per second out of this bad boy. So that's really cooking. So you can see that the the tolerances of the bullet are almost are pretty well getting close to the the upper end of the envelope. It's starting to exceed the um, the tolerances of this round, and so it's starting to come apart. But anyway, even still, that's going to do massive loads of damage um, out of a pistol caliber carbine. So, anyway, cool. I'm glad we were able to capture that. So, all right, guys, uh, let's run some numbers on it. All right, guys, there's the maximum expansion, 0.642.5 inches. Really, really awesome spread. Um, if we turn the bullet, let me show you uh, a little bit uh, wider or a little bit less wide, 0. 0.582 inches. Um, so your average is kind of in between those two readings. But let me tell you here, um, this one was fired out of the uh, kel Sub-2K, okay, the Sub-2000. And the reason why we're seeing such a, a, a huge uh, amount of bullet deformation is the fact that we are gaining close to 250 feet per second uh, muzzle velocity from, from that gun. And because of that, we're getting jacket core separation, and we're getting actually, um, we're getting uh, some fragmentation of the bullet itself. These smaller fragments are from the, uh, from the larger uh, bullet. And the reason why we're getting these is because we're starting to see uh, the envelope of this round being exceeded. All right, so, uh, and what that means is, is every jacket at hollow point or every bullet has a designed um, envelope in which it'll function um, to normal specifications. And we are on the upper levels of this when we're shooting this one. I think this one came out at 1350 feet per second. Everything's going to be annotated so you'll know, but. Uh, uh, this is definitely reaching the maximum window. Now this is about point blank range. We're shooting about three or four yards away from the jugs. So it's reaching, it's hitting with about as much energy as it's going to hit with. And you can see that it's just kind of starting to tear that bullet apart. Now at this velocity, fragmentation to me isn't as big a deal. Now we did only get three jugs of penetration, whereas the uh, one fired out of the M&P 
um, which is this one here, actually uh, got four jugs of penetration. Okay, and the reason why that is is because this one did not vi as violently expand as this one. With this one hitting it at such a faster uh, velocity, it just kind of opened up and exploded, okay? Explosive opening. And so we got a lot of energy deposition right off the bat, and then we had some fragmentation, and so this, small, this lighter grain bullet did not penetrate uh, quite as far. And to me, that's fine, um, because I would rather have some massive deposition um, coming out of a carbine. So anyway... Um, you can see, guys, that there is a definite increase in energy, and I'll annotate exactly what that increase is uh, over over the MNP, the pistol. So we're getting massive energy gains from the carbine, and that's awesome because that's going to make these rounds even more effective and more deadly. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and don't forget to rate the video. And go ahead and, and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this in the future. And as always, thank you guys very, very much for watching. And we will catch you in the next video. See ya.